Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. Today we're gonna to be doing a Mantle mainnet airdrop tutorial. As usual, nothing in this video is financial advice. I cannot guarantee that there's gonna be an airdrop and that you're gonna make money from this. Although personally, I do believe there will be a Mantle airdrop. First off, a little bit about Mantle. Mantle is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum, which is powered by its own native token that goes by the ticker symbol MNT or Mantle. Their mainnet dropped on July 17th. And with that, they had a migration where you could claim the Mantle token one-to-one -one if you owned the bit token now this event does expire six months after the launch of their mainnet so if you haven't already migrated your bit tokens i'm going to put a link in the description down below at the time that i uploaded this video you have roughly five months left to claim now as for the airdrop itself i don't believe it's going to be as big as something like arbitrum however i'm still going to be farming it one i just literally farm everything and two i do believe it's going to be worth the time you're going to see mantle not only are the transactions incredibly quick they cost cost a fraction of a penny. So the cost to do this beyond the bridge, which depending on the bridge you choose is usually the most expensive step. It costs next to nothing to run transactions on Mantle. So step one, you're going to need a wallet. Considering that Mantle is EVM compatible, you can just use your MetaMask. If you don't already have a MetaMask wallet, I'm going to put a link to a tutorial as well as to the plugin in the description down below. It's really simple. You just download the plugin, create a wallet, get some Ethereum, and you're good to go. Step two, you're going to need some mantle which is their native token in order to run some transactions similar to how on polygon you need matic if you want to run any transactions now you have two ways of doing this the first way is from a centralized exchange if you go on coin market cap you could find a list of all the exchanges that have it. You have Bybit, you have Gate, you have MEXC. However, I understand there are location-based restrictions for some of these exchanges, so that might not work for everyone. So the other solution is by using a service like Merkley, where you could just claim the token. However, you are gonna need Ethereum on Arbitrum to do this. If you don't have ETH on Arbitrum, you could use one of my favorite bridges. I also believe there's gonna be an Orbiter airdrop, so you're kind of hitting two birds with one stone. However, Orbiter is extremely quick and it's fairly cheap. From mainnet, I transferred 0.07 ETH onto Arbitrum and it was 60 cents in gas fees when GUI was under 20 and roughly $2.50 for the Orbiter fee. So once you have ETH on Arbitrum, all you would do on Merkley is connect your wallet. You're gonna go here. Unfortunately, there is a limit. You could see the max is roughly 0.02. So we're just gonna do 0.02. We're gonna preview the transaction and do refuel. Then we're just gonna confirm in MetaMask and this costs less than 20 cents to do. And then we can move on to the next step, which is going to be bridging into Mantle. So you're gonna to wanna to switch back from Arbitrum into ETH mainnet in your MetaMask wallet. And then you have a few choices to bridge. You could use the main Mantle mainnet bridge, which I always suggest doing for every single chain that I'm farming. However, it is slightly more expensive than a bridge like Orbiter. And it takes a lot more time. It takes roughly 12 minutes for this to go through. However, you do want to be using their main bridge, so I'm going to use it. However, I'll also show you how to use Orbiter. So you would just connect your wallet. You're going to switch to Ethereum as the token. You're going to select the amount that you want to bridge, and then you're going to click deposit tokens into L2. I approve the transaction, and this is going to take 12 minutes, so I'm just going to move on to Orbiter. So for Orbiter, you would just connect your wallet. You would find Mantle in the dropdown, and then you could select the amount that you want to bridge confirm and send. We sign the transaction and this should take roughly a minute. It's also cheaper than the other bridge. The other bridge is probably gonna cost me four to $5. This, depending on the gas fee, is going to cost me roughly $3. So once the bridge is complete, you can click on switch network in order to add Mantle to your MetaMask and we can move on to the next step. So next we're gonna be using a bunch of DEXs to do some swaps. We're also gonna be adding liquidity to different pools. And the first site we're gonna be using is Agni. So I've already connected my wallet. I'm just going to go to swap. And from here, I'm just going to swap tokens on their website. I'm gonna be choosing things like USDT. You could put whatever amount you want. Obviously having higher volume is better, but this is really up to you depending on how much money you put into Mantle. So I'm using Weath to do this. I put in an amount. I'm going to click enable Weath. And once it goes through, we can just click swap, confirm swap, confirm, 
and wait for the transaction to go through, which is basically instant. So the next thing I'm going to do is add liquidity to their pools. You just click liquidity, you go to add and you select the token that you want to be using here. I'm going to use USDT as well as WETH. You pick the fee. Everybody seems to pick this one. It has a little fire. I'm going to just pick that one. And here I'm just going to put five. It's automatically going to fill the WETH amount. We're going to have to enable both. So I just click max. I go next. I approve. Then I'm going to do enable WETH click max and next and approve. So once that's done, we're going to be able to click add. We click add again, our wallet pops up. And I forgot to say this, like, look how little this fee is, right? It's a fraction of a mantle token, which is worth roughly 40 cents. So it's free. So we're just going to click confirm. And once it goes through, we've added liquidity to a pool. Now, you're going to want to do these transactions over a period of multiple months. You're not going to want to do it all in one sitting. You can also leave your money in the pool for, you know, a week, two weeks, a month, as long as you want in order to increase your odds of getting an airdrop. However, once you're ready to pull your money out, you would just go back to the liquidity page and you can see the pool that you've allocated to. You click on that pool and you're going to see a remove button. You click it, you select hundred percent, you click remove, remove, and you just confirm the transaction and you're going to get your money back. Next, we can go to Izumi. We're going to switch into the mantle chain. Then we're going to connect our wallet. And from here, we can perform a swap. I'm going to once again, do WETH into USDT. I'm going to put 0 0.01. You could put whatever amount you want. When you click off, it's going to autofill. We approve the WETH, which I know it's a lot of approvals, but like I said, it's pretty much free to do this and it's more contract interactions. It's more transactions. So doing this isn't the worst thing. So once it goes through, you're going to be able to swap confirm and it's already gone through. So next we're going to go allocate to one of their pools. I'm just going to pick the first one since I did USDT and WETH add liquidity. I'm going to put, I don't know, 15. It should autofill. Yep. You're going to have to approve both USDT and WETH. And we can click create in order to add liquidity. And there you go. So again, two months has gone by and I want to get my money back here. Instead of going to pools, you would just go to liquidity and then it pops up. You just click here, remove, you select how much you want to remove, remove your MetaMask pops up and confirm. Next, we're going to be on Fusion X. It's going to be the same step. So I'm just going to connect my wallet. I'm going to select the tokens that I want to swap here. I'm going to swap some USDT back into WETH. So I'm just going to pick 25%. It's going to autofill for me. I'm going to need to enable USDT. I click max, boom, boom. And there you go. We could swap, confirm swap and confirm like we did on the other websites for this one. I'm also going to be adding to their liquidity pool. So I'm going to choose USDT WETH since these are the tokens that I have. You can go with whatever your heart desires. We're going to once again need to approve both of the tokens and then we add to the liquidity pool. So once again, you could leave it for months, however long you want, but it's my money and I want it now. So I'm going to go claim it. You just go remove. Once again, click max, remove, and there you go. I got my money back. Next is a DEX called Reacts. However, for this one, while it's safe to do a swap and they also have lending, which I personally haven't tried, I'm not allocating to their pools. I tried with a little bit of USDT. If you go to deposit, you could see there's single token and there's also pooled tokens, which is when you put multiple tokens like on every other DEX. However, the liquidity seems really low. Like I put in $5 of USDT. If I try to withdraw it and I click max, you're going to see the price impact is 2%. And if I do withdraw, it's going to tell me my slippage is wrong. And it just, I tried a bunch of different amounts. It doesn't work. So for this website, at least for now, until there's more people adding liquidity, where not going to use our pool, but we are going to use their swap. Now there are a ton more swaps that we can use. I'm going to be doing transactions on every single one because I want that transaction volume, that transaction quantity and the contract interactions. However, I'm not going to do step by step because literally every single one is just connect your wallet, enter an amount and click swap. So on all the websites I'm about to list, I am doing swaps, but I am not adding to their pools because the TVLs are way too low. So these websites are Mantle Swap, Crust, Condex, Amos, Galador, Pulsar Swap, and Jade Swap. Next up, we can move on to NFTs. 
first there is an official mantle collection called citizens of mantle which looks really cool this art looks dope unfortunately the wait list even though it still says it is live it seems to be over or maybe i just don't have enough time in mantle or enough transactions or something to qualify as for the time being if i click register i could only register for the wait list not the white list so i would still register you're gonna have to connect your wallet and after that you're gonna have to fill in a form with your wallet your discord your twitter and your email address however hopefully we are still able to mint this like i said it's an official collection and it still says to be announced so it seems like we still have a chance to mint it continuing nfts we're now going to go to nfts to me and we're going to mint our very own collection so after you've connected your wallet and you've switched to the mantle network i'm just going to go to additions then you're going to call the project whatever you want you are going to put a symbol you need to put a description and then you also need to put a piece of art you can generate it with ai i'm just going to upload my own piece of work you're going to click mint nfts then you're going to need to add at least one address here i'm going to put add account i'm going to paste my address you can do up to it seems 650 nfts however with the next website i'm not sure if it likes multiple nfts so i'm just going to put one then i'm going to click add address i'm going to scroll down and do deploy to mantle and mint so we just have to wait for this to go through and then my metamask is going to pop up i'm going to click confirm and then it's done similar to on linea since we use the exact same website nfts to me seems to also have their own airdrop i'm not going to do that in this video but if you want to try to farm that you can go through all of these steps now that we've minted our own nft next we're going to interact with a marketplace this one is called loot so the first thing you're going to have to do is create an account I already did that, but it's fairly simple. You just connect your wallet and an email. And then from there, I'm going to click on my profile because I want to list one of my NFTs. Now I notice it does take a while for the NFTs from NFT to me to appear. I believe these are the ones that I minted multiple of. So they still appear, but I'm not exactly sure if it is. So I minted just one of this one. And after a while it did appear in my wallet. So I'm just gonna click sell. I'm going to put a price complete listing and the first time you do this you are going to have to approve i tested this so i already did the approval stage however here i'm just going to do sign and there you go my nft is now listed now normally i would say go buy an nft however there haven't been that many people who've listed nfts and you can see all the prices are pretty expensive like i'm not going to spend 54 mantle or 254 mantle to buy these nfts so what i would suggest is have multiple wallets list from each wallet and then just buy your own nfts from those wallets just never send any tokens no mantle no eth on mantle on the mantle network between those wallets it's okay if those wallets have interacted on ETH mainnet, but don't send any transactions between them on the Mantle network. So just to show you what a purchase would look like, I've now switched wallets. I'm going to click the NFT that I listed on my other account. I'm gonna click buy now, confirm, complete checkout, send transaction, and I'm going to confirm the transaction. And that is how you buy and sell NFTs on loot. That does it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, if you got any value at all from it, hit that like button. It costs absolutely nothing to do and it helps my channel grow tremendously. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.